Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And today we have another video for you. Kathy's working on getting shipping labels going. We actually didn't record a video yesterday. Uh, it is Wednesday today, and I think we've got about 20 or so items to pull in a few minutes once she gets all that done. I'm here um, sitting on eBay, and it is the begin. Well, it's a it's the last day of the month. It is the 31st. Tomorrow is the first. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how we are doing our tiered sales before we start pulling stuff. I do plan on doing a bigger and more in-depth video on this in the future, but I figured since I was just doing it right now, we're just going to show you guys just so you can get the idea of what we're doing with our sales right now. So let me set up the camera, and I'll show you. All right, guys, so starting on the seller hub, what we're gonna do is just go to marketing, hover over marketing and click on promotions. Is that too loud? No, you're fine. <laughs> Kathy's over there printing labels. Um, we're multitasking. <laughs> so, uh, and then what you're gonna do is, if you see this blue button up here, this says create a promotion and then sale event and markdown. And it's, it's as easy as just, I'm gonna start with the 50%. Um, so we do have, our, our tiers go, I don't know if you could read that. Um, so zero to 30%, I'm sorry, zero to 30 days is 0%, 31 to 60 is 10%. So every month we're, we're taking another 10% off. So I'm gonna start with the 50% sale. And you can go in here and add multiple levels if you have fewer items because you can only select 500 items at a time on these promotions here so i'm going to start with the 50 percent. i like to just do each percentage separately um and then you go here to select items and then you'll see this section here days on site so my 50 percent is 151 days and on so i'll just put like 900 9900 and 99 days since I know for sure we don't have anything that old. All right, so what I like to do here, because it says there's 381 items and this page is only showing 200, that's the maximum we could show per page. Um, what I like to do is organize it by price. So if you click, if you select current price, um, I just like to make sure some of this more expensive stuff that Kathy doesn't necessarily want to go 50% off is not included. Um, for instance, did you want like this smart wool, right? It's 150, you don't want that included. Pretty much all those over 100. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna talk, and when I do a video in the future, um, I'm gonna show how to keep this kind of seasonal stuff out of it, uh, out of uh, this selection here. I think I've figured out a way, but I just haven't implemented it myself yet. So we're gonna confirm those selections and then we'll go ahead and um, add more items. Do the 151, 9999 again. And then this time I'm gonna filter low to high. And you'll see at some point, since we have less than 400 items, you're gonna see some of these are already selected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select all on this page. That should keep those lower ones selected. Confirm selection. And now you'll see we have 374 items in our 50% off sale. Save and review. And then this is where you can go ahead and do all of your information as far as when it starts, when it stops. Um, lately, we've been doing ours on a um, like a 15 day cycle, like two weeks. Um, and that's why it's the 31st and we're trying to get it going for the beginning of next month. So that's basically how you do that. Look for that video coming out in the future. Um, it's just, it's just going to be more well produced where you can actually see better what's going on. But I wanted to at least show you guys a little bit uh, closer up of exactly what we're doing. So um, hopefully that answers any questions we have had a few people ask. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start picking stuff as soon as Kathy is done printing those labels. So we'll be right Right back all right you guys let's get some orders pulled we just we were already at the gym it's already like 
it's almost one o'clock. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like we're not gonna get much. It feels like we're not getting much done. But I guess going to the gym is something. Right, right. And then I got my coffee. So thank you, yeah. Tammy. By the way, Tammy. Uh, today's us, it was a couple days ago. She sent us three coffees right. and just said thanks for the spreadsheet. But we haven't recorded a video. So thank you so much, Tammy. Tammy, thank you so it's much. Pumpkin spice season again, so I'm like extra happy. Uh, yeah, I did get a coffee too. I got my. I got <laughs> the whipped cream today. I got today. the free one. Just that's Starbucks themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So. I saw when we were at the airport in Charlotte landing, we got a Starbucks yeah. on the way out and somebody a $7 there. One. <laughs> <that> airport <laughs> the airport one Starbucks, yeah. <laughs> um, somebody ordered, what was it? You making a lot of noise? It was a, a white mocha, which is like what I drink, an ice white mocha, but she <laughs> ordered it upside down. And I was like, I've never seen it. It looked really good. So, so that's his new favorite drink. That's what I ordered today. <laughs> Hers looked better than mine did today, though. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for that support, Tammy. Yep. Uh, so yeah, if anyone needs a new drink, ice white mocha upside down. Or pumpkin it's spice good. cold brew. What, is that what you get? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so these Tevas, uh, so when we were at the gym, I was like, I'm not, I like at the end of the month trying to get my total up as much as I can, just yeah. close out the month. So I was sending 40% offers on Posh, sending some offers on Mercari. Uh, this was one of the sales from the Mercari. I sent her an offer of 28, but she asked if I'd do 20. Their sandals, you know, mm. we're going into fall, winter. I only paid $5.99 for them, so I said, yeah, I'll do 20. Yeah. It's about a $10 some change profit on that. Yeah. So, moving them out quick. They're also a women's 12, which is sometimes good, but also sometimes, like, might take a long time to sell because it's not a ton of people in that size. Yeah. Uh, Reese, you're going to have to move, Bubba's. <laughs> you're going to have to move. I want more varieties. Okay, let's send her a sun mailer because she's getting sandals. Uh, okay, box R. <laughs> This was another Mercari that accepted my offer. Nothing huge, but these are art class, which is just Target brand kids clothes. Um, a pair of sweat shorts bought at the bins. I was taking them to Once Upon a Child, but I had nothing else in the bin yet, and it was just like in my way. I didn't want to put it out in our trailer just for like one item, so I was like, yeah. I'll just list it. And I got $6 plus shipping. That's more than I would have got at Once Upon a Child, so. Um, yeah, it's like a $4, almost $5 profit. Are you recording a Reese? Is he doing something weird? No, but he... What are you doing? I think he just wants our attention. This is like normal time. We're not doing anything. Did you see how he like pretended like he was about to go downstairs? Nothing happening right now. Waiting for us to say something. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> Reese. Hey, if you're good, we'll get... Stop looking at those treats. He is looking. We'll get you a treat a little bit. Calm okay? down and we'll get you one. You got to lay down like a good boy. We got like 20 more things to pull. Reese, lay down. So some ultra <laughs> shoes. Uh, this was on Poshmark. I think I've now had like seven sales come in from my offers. Um, these ones bought for $8.99, sold for $27 with discount shipping. So about $10, $11 profit there. Poshmark will probably do a medium flat rate box. Which all of our boxes that I ordered the other day came in, and I kind of ordered a lot. <laughs> They're all on our porch right and now. And we look like the trashy <laughs> neighbors. Because not only is that on our porch, we also were like going through a bunch of bins in our trailer. So yeah. like I emptied a bunch out. So those are still on the porch because I haven't figured out what to do with them yet. We have and a very then, secluded covered porch. As so we it's all. And I noticed some Amazon stuff got delivered. So yeah. that's on our porch too. <laughs> Yeah, and we haven't mowed the grass in a couple weeks, so what are those names? Hey, hey, don't let all of our <laughs> yeah. bad news out, or all of our uh, embarrassing news out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so these APL sneakers uh, via offer on Posh, I list, or I bought them for nine ninety nine, sold for forty seven with discount shipping. So pretty good. Another medium flat rate. Uh -oh. Good boy. CO, another Poshmark offer accepted. I see a lot of spaces in our boxes. Yeah. I'm very happy. Uh, these are the brand Zero with the X, X E R O. Great brand of shoes to look out for. They're like a barefoot minimalist shoe. Bought these for $9.99, sold for $47 with discount shipping. Wow. Yeah, we just sold one of those a couple of days ago. I feel like. You know, the sandals. Yeah. Oh, actually, that. That ended up being a case open on me on Posh. Oh, really? Um, 
I guess I missed like a crack in the. Oh, that was that pair. Gotcha. But then when I said, oh, so sorry, I missed it. She's like, oh, I do kind of like them. I said, I'm happy to accept the return. Right. You know, Poshmark would send her a label. But she's like, I do kind of like them. I think I'll fix it instead of. Yeah. Um, I so, think she wanted like a partial right. refund, but um, Posh is not really a way to do that. So. Yeah, I'm wondering if Posh did that. I don't know. Cause yeah, I gave her any money back. I don't know. They On my end, they just said. It's closed. Yeah, yeah we, gave we got our money. money. So it was, that was a bummer. I, I mean, I feel bad. I They look like brand new sandals. Yeah. And then she showed me a photo. And I'm always, like, skeptical at first because I'm like, dang, yeah. these were brand new. So I go look at my photos. I'm like, oh, we can I, see, it. I yeah. see that flaw. That Something we can see in the photo now that we know to look for <laughs> it. But, yeah. Just, um, like, when something looks almost brand new, you don't look it over quite as well, you know? Right. I'm sure she thought I was trying to, like, scam her. Right, right. But I'm, I'm glad she noticed it, and I'm glad she can hopefully fix it. Right. Uh, another uh, Poshmark sale, New Balance, bought for 12 sold for 30 with discount shipping on the offers I was sending out. So not quite even doubling my money, about a $10 profit there. Very nice. These were, you just did these on the treadmill, huh? Yeah, and actually that made the time go by so fast. Like normally <laughs> we only do, because I prefer weight, so I do more of that and then less treadmill, like 20, yeah. 25 minutes. But today, by the time I was done sending offers, I had already done 30 minutes on the treadmill because... <laughs> The way I do my offers, I'm not patient. <laughs> so, like, I don't do the whole store at once. I'll do, like, 100. Let those send. Because you have to keep your phone open. Yeah. And then I'll just go back and do more. That way, if anyone accepts, I also have time to, like, delist in between. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Took about 30 minutes, but it was worth it. Did I already put the label? I know. I'm distracting you. Sorry. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> All right. And... Another way to make the tre- go- treadmill go by fast is watch TikTok. <laughs> TikTok, yeah. Yesterday I was doing that. That makes normally, everything go by fast. <laughs> normally I'll just like watch a reseller video. Usually yeah. Usually they're 20 minutes or so. But even then it's just like, it feels like a long time mm-hmm. when you're doing it. But on the TikToks, they're like a minute or less each. So you just keep scrolling and you're not really thinking about yeah. that you're walking. I feel like your mind is going <laughs> to so many different mind. topics and stuff that yeah. makes it go by quick. Some Skechers with a knit flat, bought for $7.99. Someone accepted my offer, $23 with discount shipping on Posh. Do another padded flat rate on those. Okay, A.L. Bowden swim chunks. So these, bought at the thrift store but I bought them hoping my son would use them and he just never did the whole summer so I listed them. I did pay $5.99 for them and I sent out an offer of $16 with discount shipping so it's about a $4 profit. Right. Do a foldy box. We don't have no more foldy boxes. Oh yeah, there they are. Got them. Okay. A bundle to our viewer Zach. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Uh, CC and CY. Sasquatch vintage camo shirt. Actually, you think Chris picked I this found up. that one. Hey. That was a while ago, though. So <laughs> I think was. both of these were in our like 50% <laughs> off sale. Yeah. And then a pair of Adidas Boost sneakers. Sweet. Um, so for both, uh, $39.95 plus ship. And I had about $13.98 into the two items. So thank you awesome. so much, Zach. Zach, thank you so much for all the continued support, <laughs> man. We do greatly appreciate that. Probably just going to do a shoebox on those. Okay. We need to get the kids to bring those boxes up. <laughs> There's well, literally like 40 packages on them. Like last time we had our kid like, put them up one at a time. We're like, well, we'll here's give a, you dollar. a dollar. He <laughs> <laughs> brought up like 10 big boxes. <laughs> that was funny. That was uh, at the FlipCon. Uh, Edine from Hustlin' Hooks was on the panel and, and he was like, you know, when you start out, do things illegally. <laughs> <laughs> Get your family to do it for free, you know, like yeah. <laughs> child and family labor, and and uh, I, I I think the room took it differently. <laughs> like it he was winging it as a joke, <laughs> yeah, and that kind of became like the running joke of FlipCon. Like <laughs> we don't do things illegally, like some people. <laughs> so you got to go, guys. Go go next year, FlipCon. If you missed out, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. 
okay, so these are the brand Fin Comfort, which is a great brand. These retail probably around two hundred dollars, but they're missing their like cork insoles. They they have like an insole kind of like a Birkenstock, mm -hmm. which I knew they were missing them when I bought them, but they were only six twenty nine. So I was like, yeah, I'll t I'll still take a chance because I'm sure you could buy just the insole. And otherwise, the sandals basically look new. So I took a chance. They did sell for $39.95 plus ship. However, the night they sold, I woke up to the sale and a message saying, what's your return policy? Which right. if you've been here, well, you know, we don't accept returns on eBay. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously if something's not as described, right. we have to, but. If we made a mistake, for sure. described correctly. Yeah. I'm sure she read that they don't have insoles, which is why she's asking that. Yeah. So I wrote back. So these sold like two days ago. I just didn't ship them because. Mm -hmm. We've been yeah. kind of waiting for the buyer to respond. Right back, and she didn't, so yeah. now I'm like all worried that they're gonna get a return yeah. request. Kathy basically said, "Hey, we don't have a return policy, Write so if you if you don't them. want them now, please now's the chance, yeah. right?" So um, she has her own. She has her own back, so, so we're sending it out. So we're <laughs> sending it fingers out. across I feel that like she had some good feedback. Yeah, like she's been a buyer for a while. Yeah, I did. So. I, sometimes we do that. We we stock yeah. their feedback, <laughs> like stuff that right. they've left for people. Worst case, I was gonna be like just have to can like i was yeah. about to cancel which i don't like to do that either. right it's almost like what's better should we take a a, right. a cancellation on our part right yeah. and like not even market as buyer asked to cancel because she didn't um or should we take the chance of sending them off and then she's like oh this is not as described and then we get an inad right so which is not good either which is not good like, either are, they are as described so right it's like if she's like these aren't gonna work i would i would allow her to return them if she wants to pay shipping and i refund her less the shipping i've already spent to send them to yeah. her but then it's like was that right. really worth her getting them i don't know so hopefully nothing bad goes wrong right and yeah i'm just overreacting but no, I mean, it's a concern. It, it is. Uh, you know, it's, I guess it's probably nothing that we should be that concerned yeah, about. And I mean, because, it says we don't accept returns right. on all of our items. So it's not like, I'm going to feel like you already saw that we don't accept returns. <laughs> right. So are you just like seeing if we have some wiggle room or yeah. what? This is like one of those things. It's like, okay, worst case scenario, we lose, yeah. what, 20 bucks? If yeah, that. like $6 for the shoes. I think yeah. they lived in California, so shipping was like eight eighty or something. So, very worst case, I lose fifteen dollars and just say trash them, then, right? Because I don't want to pay the shipping back, right? Um, we don't want an INAD, we don't want any deal. of that. $15 so, fifteen dollars in the big grand scheme of things is no big deal, right? It's also not worth talking about anymore because right. <laughs> we've kind of been going back and forth about it. Like, has she got back? Should we email her again? It's like. <laughs> At this point, it's like 15 bucks. What, let's just go, yeah. right? <laughs> so, so let us know what you yeah. would do. What, what would you do? I think it's important for them to see, though, because even we get hung up on this stuff sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah. And <laughs> Way too much in time. the grand scheme, it is only $15, and we've got other sales. Yeah. We've got bigger we fish to fry. We have another one on Mercari that one item's still not tracking. Mercari will yeah. help. It's tracking. That's why. Oh, I want to show them that. Yeah. <laughs> because, okay, maybe at the end. <laughs> yeah, I might show you guys that because we do have this Mercari sale. Yeah, it's been out. What it's it, like three weeks now. It's been like since... August 8th or something that we sent it out. It's been in out for delivery since right. August like 13th maybe. It's been going back and forth it's between two like cities. Stuck and nobody at FedEx can help us. Mercari won't just cancel the order right. and pay the buyer pay me because I use their label like they say yeah. they're gonna because it's still tracking. Right. It has to stop tracking for like a week before Mercari will help you out. So Which it hasn't stopped tracking. <laughs> right. And it never probably right. will. Right. Because it's it says stuck. it's on the truck for delivery. And then we tell Mercari, hey, this isn't working. It's not tracking. And they're like, no, it's out for delivery yeah. today. But it's been out for delivery for they 11 have days. like an automated. Right. It's, it's, it's very frustrating. Too, very so. frustrating. Again, that's one of those things where it's like, okay. We should just give her her I money back. and yeah. the shoes. I didn't pay for the shipping because it's Mercari. So I'm out 10 bucks. Versus this has been taking us a long time to yeah. like worry about. Yeah. So with these five room shoes though, this is a really good sale. I bought these for $19.99, which is kind of a lot, uh, but they were in really good shape. The men's ones seemed to sell really well for me. So I took a chance thinking I could at least double my money. And I ended up selling them on Mercari for 79. So I made like a 40 something dollar profit on these, which is okay. great. That basically pays for the two uh, <laughs> the two well, items in sad. question. Well, taking on my profit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll do a mail around those because they're under a pound. All right, AW. If you're still watching after us, random like 10 minutes, thank you. Well, I think these are cases that come up with I everybody. Know, yeah. and People ask us, and sometimes yeah. we've never had that happen. Right. But it is easy to get lost. I mean, we've spent 
over an hour, probably each at least on both of these. Well, maybe not me on the the ones without the insoles, but I've, I mean, I've contacted FedEx and Mercari and, and, and I was like, don't even contact. They're not going to help know. you. I know. I tried reaching out Mercari on Instagram. Like, Hey, what's wrong with your customer service? It sucks. <laughs> and no response, but <laughs> so yeah. <sighs> Should we keep ranting for another 30 minutes? <laughs> sold these key Imperial overalls. Um, oh, nice. I just sold the other pair the other day. Yeah. We picked up three pairs one day at a garage sale. They were all different sizes, ironically, um, but they all have sold now. This pair sold for $39 plus ship on Mercari. I paid $3 for them. Yeah. So that was a really good find. Yeah, that, that whole sale was really good. Yeah, and we did record it, but it was yeah, like just not like good. Not good. Damn. I don't know. Yeah, like we we went recording garage sales that day, and that was about the only good stuff that we found was like three pairs of overalls, some shoes. Yeah, it just wouldn't have made a good video. So yeah, I hope this person doesn't mind that there's sand. I did write that these have a lot of sand in them. Oh. <laughs> I tried to like knock it all out, but some's coming I out in the did. bag. I see some. Yeah. So these are Keens. I bought for ten ninety nine. Sold for thirty nine ninety five plus shipping on eBay. So we'll probably try to drain the sand that's in there now, but it's inevitable. It's just going to keep yeah. coming I, out and shipping. I like took so much out already. I just kept banging them on the desk, wiping them. So, all right, B O. Uh, echo. Also, I see the bulldog here. I know. This was somebody did say that that's not the Browns, but it is because it has has the Browns right there, and it says what is this? Uh, the dog head, <laughs> foam heads. But yeah, someone on Posh was like, "Is the dog brown or black?" So is the Browns dog supposed to be brown? Because this looks black, right? Like the if dog it's actually. not black, it's a very very dark yeah. brown. I never responded to their question because yeah. I was like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't answer color questions. Um, these are a pair of Echo Men's Like a Driving Loafer. Bought for eleven ninety nine, sold for thirty nine ninety five plus shipping. It's still being weird over there. What are you even looking? It's like if you're not gonna give me a treat, I'm gonna chew my looking? feet. And box P. I feel like I've been in P three times. <laughs> uh oh. Reese, can you get that? Can you get that? Can you earn your treat? Uh, you just okay. <laughs> All right. You gotta sit. This is hard to do with one hand. Sit. Easy. Ow! <laughs> you bit my finger. All right, go lay down. Lay down. You wacko. Lay down. Now he's gonna be even more under our feet. <laughs> Sold some bionic foot flops for forty-four ninety-five plus ship. I bought them for seven ninety-nine. So really good sale. Shipping it, Miller. <laughs> um, <laughs> what day is it? It's the 31st. I saw they're coming out with like a fall print that's pretty cute. It has like mushrooms and just like fall things on the 8th, I believe. So in about a week, we'll be telling you guys about that. But <laughs> yeah. until then, Halloween is still available Yeah. on their site. Alrighty, box Z. Link in the description for 15% <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Some Levi's. Bought these a while back. I think they ended up in our 50% off sale or at least 40% off. Bought for five, sold for $14.98 plus ship. So maybe like seven, eight dollars profit there. But more. I mean that's more than double. That's that's not bad. I don't know why I always had to convince <laughs> myself like that. To me it's worth it, right? Like all of this added up like it's great to make 40 yeah. something dollars profit on one, but where else can you double your money in as yeah. little as two days, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's other places where you can, but no. reselling yeah. is definitely one of the easiest ways to double your money, I, I think. think. So. Yeah. Um, Crocs, they're like a, these are called the busy day stretch. This model of Crocs seems to do really well for me. Uh, this pair sold for 30 plus ship. That was an offer I sent on eBay. I bought them for $9.99. Do another strawberry mailer. Okay, AR. This is the brand. I think they say. Hmm. 
I did just say Duluth on them, but I feel like the brand was like Jack Pine. Hmm. So maybe just a brand that Duluth Trading Company sells. Anyways, these took a very long time to sell, but finally sold for $22.50 plus ship. I paid $9.99 for them, so about doubling my money. Those are just gonna go out in the shoe box. Sit. Good boy. Now lay down. <laughs> you growl at me. <laughs> <laughs> these next two are in my kid bin. Hmm. Uh, kids polo bear sweater. I bought this on Kitizen for my son and he wore it a few times. I bought it for 17 and I sold it for 30 with free shipping. So I'm still making some profit and he got to wear it. So that's cool. Sweet. Yeah, Kitizen, I had such good deals on stuff that I'm like always, like I purposely try to like find things that I'm like, he can wear it and then I can flip it. <laughs> so if you're not on Kitizen and have kids, there's also a link in the description. That would give you $5 off your first purchase. Um, and then this Vineyard Vine shirt also sold on Kitizen for $19.80 with free ship. I did end up shipping through um, Pirate Ship for this and it cost $3.80 to ship it out. Alright. Um, these are going to our viewer, but they're probably in this bin because I just listed them. Uh, oh, they're right here. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> it makes it easy. Like, no! This bin is packed full of shoes. These are going out to Madeline. So thank you so much. I actually listed these last night before bed and woke up to, I think I listed them at maybe 50 and then Madeline got the Posture VA offer, countered just a little bit lower at 32 and I was happy to accept. So the brand, did I say it's Sorel? Mm. These are some Sorel sandals. I actually bought these for myself and I took them to flip. I was gonna say, those are the ones you took a flip on. I yeah. kept putting them on and like, I just felt like they didn't go with any of the outfits. <laughs> so like, these are so cute. I love these shoes. I just, <clears throat> all summer even, I just couldn't find a cute outfit to wear with them. So yeah, Madeline, I'm sure you have some cute outfits. <laughs> Hope you love the shoes. Madeline, thank you so much for that support. Yeah. I did buy them at Goodwill. I think I paid $12.99 originally for them, so. Got some shoes that were at FlipCon. <laughs> <laughs> Never left my room. Never left the room of FlipCon. <laughs> uh, maybe let's do like a regional B-Box for those. Okay, CC. Carhartt. Little camo overalls. Little baby Carhartt. Bought for $1.99, sold for $20 with discount shipping. Oh gosh. Do a foldy box. Okay, box E. Bonk. Got a dosey do. <laughs> Some Hannah Anderson kids tights, new with tag. Got these at the bin, so $1.37 into them. I accepted a $10 offer, so it's like a five, six dollar profit there. And I saw them out of foldy boxes, but I'm gonna put one of those in one as well as soon as I find more. Okay. Let's see a this is more than I thought I sold. I know <laughs> it's two days worth. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we mentioned, we might have mentioned, but yeah, this is yeah. two days worth. We didn't record yesterday, Tuesday. Which I'm trying to do, but right. <laughs> I always keep saying it, then I'm like, we gotta ship, we gotta ship, we gotta ship. <laughs> I don't know, I would just worry, like, um, on Flipcom, we didn't ship for, what, five days? And like Poshmark, of course, all the sales came in like the first day we were gone. Right. And I didn't really say anything to anyone, because you can ship for up to a week on Posh. So I didn't reach out and be like, hey, we're shipping Saturday. Right. So I'm like thinking I'm going to get a bunch of four or three star ratings just saying ship time. But nobody has so far. Yeah. Uh, these are some Mizuno, like volleyball sneakers. Bought for four, sold for 20 on Posh. And then those will go in a medium flat rate. DN. Okay. Uh-oh, so I'm going to fall on my head again. Probably. <laughs> you can't be putting shoes like that up that's, here. Hold this. That's where I put my anvil. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Can you put those in there? Oh my gosh, those are gonna fall in there. 
right. it's sad because we <laughs> well we try to put the big stuff up there because there's no like lid so I can kind of stick out the top of the box more but then it's like the big stuff is way up there so yeah so these are the brand Halflinger which is a great brand to look out for I've never sold like their leather stuff before I always sell like their wool clogs mules slippers those even sell really 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 good um, these I bought retail arbitrage for 15 and I, or yeah, someone offered 67 and I accepted. Another good sale there. Yeah. I uh, think those should fit in a medium flat rate. I'm uh, making a mess. All right, an AT is the last one. Where are you at? Little baby kicky pants, um, little sleeper, bought for 99 cents, sold for 20 with discount shipping on Posh. So, still picking up some baby and kid stuff. I can find it cheap. I mean, that's a really good margin. So, 20 with discount shipping, what is that? 16. That's like a $12 profit on a $1 buy. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, that was Posh, so I'll find another box like this for it. Another foldy? Yep. Well, we got quite a bit of packing up to do. You ain't getting anything else. <laughs> Go back to sleep. We're not going anywhere either. I don't know what he's acting up, but like we'll be. We have to go take him for a walk. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're gonna get this stuff packed up, and we'll be back in a moment. All righty, guys. Got the stack all stacked up, ready for a thumbnail. Reese, you didn't do much. You were good, though. You stayed out of our way. You <laughs> stared at us the whole time like we were about to do something. I still don't know what he thinks we're about yeah, to do. Yeah, he thinks we're doing something. I don't know what you think is going on. It's just Wednesday. It's <laughs> nothing special. Mm, it's hump day, though. Maybe he's all excited for hump day, which I don't think means much when you're a reseller. Because <laughs> we just work every day. Except for tomorrow. We're taking Thursdays are kind of, well. Yeah. I guess we do our live we were, on Thursdays. You're we saying, what do you want to do tomorrow? <laughs> I was like, yeah. we haven't tried to do like a out and about type thrifting yet. Which, right. You know, we've tried many times throughout the last two years, <laughs> but they just never come out. So. Yeah. No promises. Maybe try some. No, I think like we can. Tomorrow. I think we can get some footage out tomorrow because you're going to definitely get some thrifting in and stuff. Yeah, and I haven't been thrifting much at all, so yeah. I'm excited. No new sales have come in since we have got that stuff packed up, but Thankful. that's good. Yeah, it's about one forty-five. Um, which is good. Did you have anything else you want to say no, before? Just like, hopefully, because it's only 125, we have about an hour and a half. Yeah. Maybe. I already had photographed 30 yesterday, listed 15, listed five this morning, so I can hopefully get those last 10 yeah. up before we have to get the boys, because then Taekwondo and everything else. So. Yes, yes. And Wednesday nights, uh, actually, it's every other Wednesday night now where I get to go hang out with my friends. That is tonight. We're going to go ahead and get this video edited and put up today. So that gives me a little bit of time to do that. Kathy will get her listings done. We'll get the boys and then we'll be off and rolling for our evening activities. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support. Look for our live show tomorrow. It is tomorrow, Thursdays at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. We would love to have you around. And I think tomorrow we're just going to probably, Kathy's probably gonna do a few listings but we're gonna do a lot of talking um i'm expecting maybe a few flipcon questions because we haven't really talked about uh our experiences at flipcon but we'll definitely talk a little bit about that tomorrow on our live if that's something that everyone is interested in usually we just kind of roll with whatever <laughs> it comes up <laughs> so um, if you have any questions you want to get out live we do answer questions live and if it's something that we can kind of show that we do try to show that stuff too so um, we definitely look forward to seeing you guys there and that's going to do it for today thanks again for watching and for all the support and we will see you guys in the next one bye all right, guys. So we were about to put Don't stuff. Be showing people my feet. I'm not. I'm <laughs> looking at your have, face. I have flip flops on. Yeah, anyway. yes. <laughs> your feet are so concealed in those uh, flip flops. I have to <laughs> put my shoes on. Uh, anyway, what I was saying, um, <laughs> we had a viewer buy. I'm not going to show you the label, but um, something as we were about to pack up what we just. Uh, closed out on so and since we're not shipping again really till friday yeah i don't a viewer i want to get out for sure like, if it wasn't a viewer we wouldn't care as much yeah definitely. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> if it wasn't a viewer we would probably just pack it up and not even share it with you guys <laughs> but we didn't want to miss out on this so shoe shelf some sperry duck boots 
Total cost of goods with tax, 1287 Sold for 47 with discount shipping. I didn't look at your name yet. To Tiffany. Tiffany. Thank you so much. So some sort of, oh, we got the fan rolling. So if there's <laughs> wind in the, the speaker, sorry about that. A little dusty. I will wipe those down for you, Tiffany. Um, but yeah, some really cute Sperry Duck boots. Perfect time of Awesome. Year. Tiffany, thank you so much for that support, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>